Captain was framed in an attempted coup against the president. Carter Page joins me now with reaction to that speech and much more. All right, good evening, Carter. What do you think of the president talking about the fact that the president is there to defend the, to defend the freedom that so many fought for and died for? Do you feel that your freedom was defended? Absolutely not, Judge Janine. And there, there is just so much repair that still needs to be done. Over four years since this terrible scandal began, leaving our court system and our legal system in general in, in sh uh, shambles. So there's really a lot more that we need to do. Well, you know, Carter, you had withstood what a lot of people absolutely couldn't couldn't handle over over the last four years. Everything from claiming that you know y you were a Russian asset, someone who was going to be arrested at any point in time, someone through whom they would they would use you as a vessel to spy on the on the president's campaign. I mean, how how did you live through that? Well, I talk about that a lot in my new book that you just referred to, Judge Janine. It, it is really a, uh, a serious saga and one that I, I was re very difficult on many levels. But the thing that really bothers me the most is all the damage it did to so many other innocent Americans. Primary, you know, first and foremost, and really the main target of that entire sham was then candidate Donald J. Trump in 2016. So unfortunately, I, I know so many people, uh, including the president, have been pushing for serious reforms to the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act and our, our court system and our legal uh, withstanding so much damage. And you know, I think it's really important that we think of a, uh, imp uh, important new steps and take start uh, going down that pathway. And it's, I talk a lot about the, the pathway forward and you know the lessons learned from this terrible uh, uh, segment in American history. Well, you know, already one FBI, former FBI lawyer, Kevin Kleinsmith, has been charged with falsifying a, a, a document, an instrument, claiming that you were not a uh, an informant uh, for the FBI uh, and, you know, to altering a document, denying that you were a source for the FBI. Now, you had sent the letter to Chris Ray uh, as far back the, as a year and a half ago, and he never answered you about this. So Christopher Ray has had knowledge of this information. Information. And it wasn't until uh, John Dunham in the Bill Barr investigation uh, that we even heard that this was the case. Is Christopher Ray, the head director of the FBI, covering up for his agents and his lawyers? Well, there are, and I, I talk a lot about this in my book, Judge Janine. There are so many conflicts of interest, unfortunately. You know, if you compare the Mueller team and how it was very large. Democrat donors, and including some of the people that interrogated me. And similarly, and you know, to the, your point about Director Ray, I think you know, as you were uh, asking Chairman Graham a couple of weeks uh, or last month, he they recently uh, that Director Ray just nominated and put into place a law partner of Sally Yates right. and Rod Rosenstein. So a friend and he is. recently took right. office. Listen, so, I, I only, have ten, yeah, I only yeah. have 10 seconds. Are you suing for defamation? Yes, we, uh, we have at least one, uh, okay. one suit uh, against uh, Yahoo, and we have right. other uh, actions which are right. uh, coming soon. Good. Thank you, Carter Page.